special gift. Yeah, apparently this is a birthday gift for me. And I was like, what could it be? And then I saw the can opener, and I was like, oh. Can opener. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Thank you, Ovi. Botulism. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's why it's wrapped in newspaper. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, I'm not even here right now. Are you jet lagged or something? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm. I mean, uh, everyone says that Sommer Strong will cure your jet fish. lag. Will cure your jet lag. It's the best remedy for it. Ooh. Everyone's been saying. Bro. What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. Let's live the flying stalkers may soon be followed. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, gay as fuck. I should get my RC. The so called flying stalkers. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. Don't even think I have the stomach for this. You gotta at least smell it. I don't think I have to try to not. <laughs> I think I'm gonna know what it smells like, man. Cash has like a gas mask down there. They're, <laughs> they're ready, dude. The, the crew's ready. Is there two of them? Let's see. I guess we'll find out. Ah, oh, bro, I'm scared. Look at this. Oh, man, I can sense yeah. the botulism. Can you smell it already? I, f I thought I did. I might have imagined that. Where did you get this from? Yo, it's like a grenade going off. Hold up. Some, like, Swedish website. Yo, you have buckets back here so we can puke? <laughs> yeah, there's puke buckets, too. Courtesy of Dome Depot. <laughs> it's different from Home Depot. Man, I just ordered my favorite burrito, and then you're gonna you're gonna Pavlov poison. What is this? What is this now? Oh, that's like a cyanide tab. You can take it after you. <laughs> no, it's raspberry and orange liqueur chocolates. Oh yeah, that'll fucking cure <laughs> yeah, whatever's yeah, this is in like that. Like the little aperitif. Is that what that is? I think that's supposed to like <laughs> clear your palate after you eat a uh, dead fish. Here it is, folks. I mean, the branding is fucking ace. Yeah. No, that's a, it is sick design. I lost into it? What is it? Do your thing. <laughs> what I mean, it, if I what, do this now, it's going to stink like, what, for the rest of what? the episode. That. What is what? Summer Strong. Sir, no, Sir Stroming. Yeah. So yeah, sorry. Okay. There are other people who maybe have not watched. So are you asking what this is? <laughs> Huh, nice Ryan, the executive show, producer, nice to know does you not know the, the details. <laughs> Looking out for those others that might not know. All right. Um, if you don't know what the fish is, pause, go to tmgstudios.tv, watch the ad-free version uh, where we figure out what this can is, come back now and see why this is so funny. What did we talk about this like the uh, two episodes ago? I can smell that. I can smell that. No, there's no smell. TMG319. I can I got I can smell that. Let me shake it up a little bit. <laughs> Just shake it up a little bit. Let me tell you what doesn't typically have juice. Fish. <laughs> fish is typically not uh, uh juiceable. <laughs> I really want to open this, dude. Do do it. Yeah? As long as I have your blessing cuz this is going to this is going to seep into the fucking furniture. Well, probably. open it, smell it and then run it out of here. I should probably have gloves. Oh. No, we talked about man. You've had some sneaky fish on your fingers before. <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. Adam, <laughs> Lauren put her camera down on that one. She's like, absolutely not. By the way, if you actually don't know what this is, just go to TikTok, search Sir Stroming's fish, and you can see people like videos of people struggling to like breathe as soon as this can is open. Yeah, it's crazy. They actually get these from the bottom of the Titanic. 
That's where they get this food, actually. This Wait, is, is that what the submersible is doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going down for more Sir Strong. They're like, we got to get the last of it. All right, the seal has been cracked. Oh, that fucking st- hiss, dude. <laughs> dude, smell that, man. No. Dude, that smells like eggs. Oh, my God. That's straight up sulfur. (laughs) (laughs) You can't... can't... (laughs) Oh, my... You don't smell it? Uh, no. I think it's stuck in my nose. Yeah, it is. Dude, that smells like rotten eggs. No shot. I'm going over there. No. (laughs) I'm not. This is not an exaggeration. That is the worst thing I've ever smelled. I can't even get close to it. Can someone? Can someone get in here and fucking take it away? Ryan, come smell this. Ryan. Oh, is it? Is it seeping out? Uh, Yeah. Is it seeping out? To it, I actually can't get close to it. I can't get close to it, bro. Dude, that smells like an Andy Gump. That's like if you put. I'm gonna get it real quick. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Mixed with the fucking. Oh my god. That makes it worse, dude. <laughs> Dude, it hit me. It hit me. Okay, if I toss it in there, it's gonna. Unironically, it hit me. Oh, fuck. Did I get on my fingers? Dude. Your fingers. <laughs> Dude. Dude. There's some juice right there. That's. That sense not going Dude. away. Dude. Bro. No, 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 no. But. No. That is unironically. I caught a whiff of that. I'm not. Yeah, dead I right know, now. right? It's. Horrible. Oh, oh the, that does make it worse because now, now it actually smells like an Andy Gump. <laughs> no, this, n- that. Yeah, the Febreze mixed with it is horrendous. Oh, bro. It smells like bat, like public bathroom in here. Oh, dude. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, holy hell. That, that actually is way worse than I could have possibly imagined. Ugh, People bro. eat that? Oh, this is this is my nightmare. This smells like an airport bathroom. That's a very distinct smell. It smells like an airport bathroom. So you're going to do the rest of the episode from there? <laughs> Ugh, fuck, man. <laughs> do we have any other air freshener? Oh, ew. Oh, that just ruined my Saturday. Can I use this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever. Blow this place up. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, smell that. No, I don't need to. I got a whiff. Uh, I got a whiff. <laughs> that smelled like the worst fart I've ever smelled in my entire life. How do people eat this? Anyone who's able What is to- this for? What is this for? Besides pranking people. Um, just think about it. Oh, smell that. Oh, smell that. <laughs> oh, bro, bro. I know, dude. Uh. Going back there. Yo, you should not be able to hold up a napkin in negative space <laughs> and get someone to want to puke. That's great. That was like an omen. Like you just turned that to me. I and know, it, and it's just, me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, oh. it smells terrible in here. Yeah. Horrible. You know, we... Oh, fuck. <laughs> does it not smell like an airport bathroom? No, it you? does. You it does. Sm- and we're like- not exaggerating. It. We're not. This isn't just like theater. It actually fucking smells horrible. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. Yeah. It smells like an airplane bathroom. Not an airport bathroom. Oh. It, like... First of all, it's just stuck here somewhere. Here, I think it's stolen now. <laughs> it's 
the omen. The I omen. I totally thought you were going to pull your pants down and just shit. <laughs> Yeah, it does smell like an airplane bathroom. It's crazy when you smell that. It like you don't feel it here; you feel it in the back of your head. Yeah, like you just like <laughs> it's like wasabi, <laughs> oh, but harder. <laughs> Holy hell! <dude. clears throat> that was, that's insane. I can't believe people actually eat that. Like I that's not just for smelling. I can't focus. It's still here. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be around. I think it's still. <laughs> I, think, I think it's gone. I think it's gone. How, dude, I think it's. It might just be stuck up here, dude. Right how now. how crazy would it be if I just walked over and I'm like, it's not that bad, and I just ripped open the can. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, just getting as much of it as possible, <laughs> chewing the fish, <clears throat> bro. What is the point of eating that? <laughs> what, what is the point? Hey guys, I want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Skylight Calendar. Running a busy household can be pure chaos and stressful. Keeping track of who has what, when, what's for dinner, what do we need from the grocery store, et cetera, et cetera. Did someone feed the dog, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Things can get very stressful, especially now around the holidays, you know? Mm -hmm. You got to get gifts for people. Uh, you got it. Like it just seems like all every all work happens at the same time these mm -hmm. months. You know. Yep. So it can be hard to like you know think about what to get people because you're thinking about other things that are more, you know. <laughs> yep. Prom uh, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, dude. You know, it's just it's hard to keep things straight with a busy schedule. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And the best gift under the tree that will give you and your loved ones peace of mind and more joy to enjoy the things. You, you heard what I said there? More joy to enjoy the things and people that matter most is the Skylight Calendar. The Skylight Calendar is a smart touchscreen calendar and organizer for all your chores, groceries, and to-dos. It automatically syncs all of the different digital calendars and events your family uses and shows them all together on one beautiful touchscreen display. Skylight Calendar is the best way to give your family peace of mind to enjoy the things that matter most. Including joy. Exactly. And enjoying. Yeah. The Skylight Calendar is super easy to set up and use. It works by syncing events from already existing calendars you have, including Google, Outlook, and Apple calendars. Updates to linked calendars will automatically appear on the Skylight Calendar at home. You can also add events directly using the touchscreen or with the free Skylight mobile app. Wow. Events are color-coded so you can visually map out and see your family's plans for the week. The calendar comes in two sizes, small 10 inch or large 15 inch and the large is wall mountable uh, there are multiple view options to choose from day week or month views or set it to schedule view to see a few days at a time formatted in hour by hour blocks easily manage household tasks with the chore chart feature kids can check off chores when they complete them and watch their progress bar update when they complete their chores there is an emoji celebration Additional fun features include dinner planning, grocery list, daily weather display, plus weather forecast based on the address of your events. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love the Skylight Calendar, you'll receive a full refund. They offer a 120-day money-back guarantee and free returns. As a special limited time offer for our listeners, get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight Calendar when you go to skylightcal.com slash gang. To get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight Calendar, just go to skylightcal.com slash gang. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-C-A-L dot com slash gang. Bro, yeah, okay. Like, you no. gotta be just desensitized. You don't even, all this, you know, like, oh, s smelling salts, just that. Yeah. You you could be that's worse than you could be OD'd on any type of opiate. If you crack open that, yeah. that's nar that's Narcan. Oh yeah, yeah yeah, yeah. it'll <laughs> sober you up Narcan. right away. Yeah, <laughs> it's the Narcan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pull out the Narcan. <laughs> oh dude, I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> yeah yeah. Some dude's like, yo, that smells like shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I still smell. Sorry, I just got visuals of your boy just like. I just passed out on a couch and you just got the search on like bro yeah yeah bro, bro. wake up bro oh, yo, what's that smell <laughs> <laughs> all right all right this is a this is a challenge for the folks if you got a friend who who um drinks too much frequently and passes out first instead of drawing on them 
open a can of that. Get a that's video what I'm like, of that's, Sir Strong yeah. and get us a video. Like, I'm surprised it's not solely for that. Yeah. With how pungent that smells. Like, this is an unintended side effect. Isn't that crazy? What is it? If it smells that bad, what does it taste like? I'm sorry, man. You can find out. I think I have to eat a piece. And I think at the end of the episode, maybe at the end of the bonus. Rich umami. <clears throat> Enthusiasts describe the taste as rich umami. What does umami taste like? Like the burger place? <laughs> I don't know. Ask my dad. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know what umami tastes like. <laughs> what does umami taste like? <laughs> what does umami taste like? Delicious. <laughs> what the, What is this diagram on how you're supposed to put it on your... Wait, what? what is umami? It's one of the five key taste profiles. Yeah, dude, you didn't know that? It's one of the five. Sorry, I'm resetting my We got eyes. sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. That's a joke, right? No. That's not a joke? That's like the for, that's like the lost one that we don't learn about? Oh, my God. I know about the... I I'm very familiar with the first four. I still smell it, man. What is umami? Mushroom. Yeah, but it's, mushroom isn't oh, like a flavor profile. Fuck, man. Earthy. Okay. Where Where is that can? You want it? <laughs> You still yeah, smell it, right? Some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> oh, no, where did you put the... I still smell it. Guys, at, in the bonus episode, I'm going to eat a little piece. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like, awesome. Stoked. I get Damn. The... <laughs> Nobody here. Oh, he's he went, like, yeah, hey. I get to clean up puke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to have to get new carpet again. Yay. <laughs> I just will lick it. No, eat it. <laughs> okay, so it's it's supposed to taste like rich umami. So I'm stoked because I'm gonna find out what Sir Stroming tastes like and what umami tastes like yeah. in the same go. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad I have an allergy to fish. I have the ultimate excuse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, bro, that that stinks. <clears throat> yeah, you could you could be having a, a reaction just from that. <clears throat> no, I'll be all right. <clears throat> it's banned by most airlines as an explosion risk. <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Beast, <laughs> I got an idea for you. Hey, Arak, I got an idea for you. I flew this jumper plane with 4,500 cans of Sir Stromig. <laughs> Let's see if it blows up. <laughs> So far, we're at 4,000 feet, and nothing is... Uh-oh. <laughs> there goes the tail. <laughs> no, I think what would be worse is if the cans exploded, but the, ah! plane, but the plane didn't. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Yeah, it's, it's still it's, it's still around. I think it's just thick enough where it like, just sits in the air. It's evolving. You know, it's like nitrogen or whatever. You don't like realize that you're getting suffocated because oh, so of like the, yeah, the density yeah. of it. Yeah. What do they call that when you die from that? I don't know. Methane, methane gas poisoning, poisoning, yeah, something like that. Yeah, this feels like we went to a methane site and yeah. we put our face like, and here, right here's where we get the methane. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ooh, <clears throat> dude, it's right no. there. It is right there. Put your nose right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's everywhere. I spilt a bunch right here, which I think is what it is. <laughs> dude, this is like remember that remember that TIT case that we did where the two people were like fucking by the lake and then they died. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. And then, like, some people think it's because of, like, methane or whatever. Oh, right. Like, yeah. Evaporating from the soil. Yeah. We're going to go the same way, I think. Yeah. Why is this, like, the fog? <laughs> yeah. Police are going to pull up two dead podcasters yeah. in their seats. Yeah. Th <clears throat> this is, this is like the big. It smells like shit in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be a clue. <laughs> and then they die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beginning of a zombie movie or something. Yeah. That smells atrocious, bro. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna eat a piece of that. And here's the thing: is that the studio is gonna smell like this now for like months, probably. This is why Swedish people are so like cheery and happy, because uh, once exposed to this, and once they taste it, nothing else could be terrible. Yeah. Besides war. Yeah. They're like, at least we're not eating shirstrom. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know. Every day is a beautiful day yeah, as yeah. long as I'm not, not eating shirstrom. 
this snow is kind of crazy, right? Yeah. Well, at least we're not eating Zerst ramen. <clears throat> Minus 40 degrees outside. Hey, could be worse. Could be eating Zerst ramen. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine freezing one of these and then licking it like a popsicle. Mm -hmm. um, um, it'd probably be easier, Imagine man. microwaving your shit and then. <laughs> 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 and mixing it <laughs> so strong. Uh, oh, dude. <laughs> you know, that? I bet you that's what the perverse family house smells like. <laughs> That's the all dude. That okay. Okay. That's the ultimate TMG Studios challenge. What? You know, there's like, oh, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Yeah, yeah. The TMG Studios Challenge. Open a can of Sir Stromic and watch the whole perverse family trailer. <laughs> while, while right here. Yeah, while it's just in front Are of you your nose. Eating it? Eating it is a bonus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta feel <laughs> just people with pink eyes, just tears. <laughs> 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 just trying to do it. <laughs> it's like that dude in fucking Squid Games, yeah, the dude, yeah, the yeah. anxious guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, was fucking he, hell. Oh, fucking was hell. Was he dude. almost puking? Yes. Okay, it wasn't just like a nervous he tick. puked in his cup. That's how he got the shit. Did he really? No, it, it, man, the amount of spit that dude put in his cup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he didn't make it. They should have, bro. The they should have made this the Titan submersible out of that cookie because <laughs> yeah. that thing survived. That that guy, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> it was a full inch of spit in there. Ew, dude. Yeah, <laughs> disgusting. Ew. I know. But he did the dumbest thing when he pulled it out. He did it on his hand. He yeah. Sh he should use the back of the tin. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about the Squid Games reality show. Yes, we fell for it. It's good, man. It's fucking so good. You know, you know, I, you know what? I, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say it's it's visceral and it has anime level plot twists. Yeah. Oh, that's my favorite part. Yeah. Is that they they give you this big monologue and backstory from the character, and then in the middle of it, it's like, oh fuck, goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I just really want to pay for my mom's cancer. <laughs> They're out, and you're like, oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's filmed it's, very well. It's, yeah, it's beautiful. It's it's so. I mean, fucking. It's such a dystopian thing, and it's so fucked. I feel so bad that I enjoy it. Yeah, but yeah. I do. It feels like the show. Like, yeah, it doesn't feel that far off from the show. The actual I, they, show. They, they, yeah, the, uh, I like that they took every step to make it feel as close to the real show as possible. Well, I mean, they probably kept all the plans for the set design. They were probably just able to rebuild it. Yeah. I don't. I, I it looks the same and it feels exactly the same. I actually wonder now if Netflix, when they invest, well, no, because he sold it to Netflix. Yeah. So they probably had to rebuild everything. Yeah. yeah. Damn. <clears throat> so would, I was reading. Would have been crazy if they just had half the set lying around. They're like, oh yeah, we just got that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Netflix is like, oh my god. Oh, let's go. Yeah, yeah. $1. Suck my dick, Mister yeah, Beast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We were watching that show, and Alita was like, damn, they could do this for years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so Like fucked. what? New seasons of that show? Yeah. Oh, I would watch every single one. It's so fucked, man. It's so... Like, I like the the tone of it. It's so fresh. It's not like other other reality shows. It's not, because it's, it's the awful. complete opposite. Yeah. It's so awful. Just people I mean, like... I mean, America's like... The, my like, brother has no legs. Yeah. And uh, he's dying from a flesh-eating disease. And if I could just... No, 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 no. Yeah, and then... Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> hey, guys. I want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, DoorDash. Need a little help this holiday season? Let DoorDash be your personal holiday helper and never run out of holiday must-haves again. Enjoy gifts, groceries, and more delivered fast so you can make everyday miracles happen. Get everything you need for the holidays at your door with DoorDash. Use code TMGHOLIDAY to get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more at convenience, grocery, or select retail stores on DoorDash. Terms apply. Make DoorDash your go-to for getting holiday gifts and ingredients right when you need them. You can skip the trip to the store with fast delivery so you can stock up on holiday groceries and home goods. Whether it's same-day delivery of gifts, groceries, or those last-minute party essentials, DoorDash has you covered. With thousands of grocery and retail stores available nationwide, you'll find whatever you need when you need them. Don't sweat the shipping rush. With last-minute delivery, you never have to show up empty-handed. With DoorDash, you've got an extra hand to grab everything you need for a happy holiday season. 
As a Dash Pass member, you can enjoy exclusive offers and perks all season long on stocking stuffers, decor, groceries, meals, and more. You'll also get a $0 delivery fee and reduced service fees on eligible orders, too. Order now and get the holiday help you need from DoorDash. Use code TMGHOLIDAY to get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more at convenience grocery or select retail stores on DoorDash. That is code TMGHOLIDAY to get 50% off up to $10 value when you spend $15 or more at convenience grocery or select retail stores on DoorDash. Terms apply. So I, I like I've been seeing all the TikToks from the people that were on the show yeah. come up, and uh, one of the interesting ones was one of the dudes that made it through the first one. He somebody asked him why was everyone's hands in their pockets the whole time? Mm. It's because he said it took fi- five hours to shoot that. <laughs> so each time they were still, it was forty five minutes. So everyone, so that's why the girl squatting was like, I can't fucking do it, and she starts crying and breaking down because she was squatting while sitting for forty five minutes. And they had heat warmers in their pockets because it was like 24 degrees. Yeah, and that's why their noses that's why are all red like and shit like that because it's freezing in there. Yeah. It took what? longer. I, I, I saw stuff that was way longer than five hours. Some people were like, it took like 10 hours to shoot that. Just this one? So I wonder if they did that on purpose or if it was like they had to review the footage each time and actually figure out who moved and who didn't move. They or if it was to, by design yeah. so that they could filter out the most amount of people. Probably a mixture. Yeah. But I bet you it's like review. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the only way you could do that, right? Yeah. It's by bringing up the footage and, mm-hmm. yeah. But, I mean, I appreciate that they had to make it fair. Yeah, I know. Damn, what else? What else from, from behind the scenes? That was the only... I've just been fucking sucking out for this show. Sucking out? Yeah, just like a fish. What <laughs> What do you mean? Like a surf drumming? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, su- suck out is like a fucking poker term. But like I just like I'm watching it at home, just like goldfish eye, just like Oh yeah, yeah, same. I didn't look at my phone one time. Yeah. I was just enthralled. <laughs> but yeah, so I saw a couple other ones. One of the TikToks was from the dude, the an- the anxious guy. Oh. And so I turned it off right away because I was like in the middle of the episode and I was like, I don't want any spoilers. <laughs> oh shit. <clears throat> that he... poor guy, I mean, he couldn't have done worse. He should have right? played he should have played off of Brighton's desire to push forward i feel like he should have stood there and he should have uh looked at brighton because that dude brighton wanted to win so bad his four three two yeah okay yeah he should have looked at four three two and gone i want you to put your hand on that umbrella right now i'm not touching anything and he should have like pressed it like no you go to that umbrella he's like you want to be the big dog go be the big dog show us you're the big dog yeah He's like, all right, then we're out. Yeah. And he should have just not moved. Yeah, yeah. That dude would have been like, fuck. Yeah. He would have walked right over. Yeah. He would have done it. You think so? I think so. I think he wanted to win that bad. I feel like people's pride gets in the way there. Nah, but he he wanted it. That dude was doing push up. He was doing two a days in that yeah, fucking prison cell. <laughs> he wanted to the win. Night vision cameras turned on. Yeah. Just him alone doing push ups. He's like, all right, man. He wanted to win. Also, yeah, also careful. Dick. No, uh, Cody's only seen. Yeah, 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 an yeah, episode yeah. and a half. <laughs> so now I know he doesn't win, but I mean, like that's fine. What? Because you're like he wanted to win. Does he win? Don't tell. Don't tell me. Oh no, you'll. Oh you'll no. See. By the way, the last three episodes haven't come out yet, so nobody knows who went. Who wins? Well, where are you at though? I've watched an episode and a half. And a half. So who is what cookie part are you at now? Uh, they just finished it. They just finished the cookie. Like the umbrella is just finished. Oh yeah. So yeah. you saw. Yeah, but that's halfway through the second episode. Some yeah. more shit. Oh no, no, I didn't say anything past that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, I just meant no. That, but that dude made it though. Four, three, two. No, but what I, what I mean is the the pukey Mormon guy didn't make yeah, it. Yeah, he got. And what I'm saying is he, he the way he pukey could have Mormon. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible way to describe him. <laughs> pukey Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> Puking Mormon. He, the way he would have been able to further that for himself. Because he was sitting there being like, you got to come spit on my cookie. <laughs> Dude, he literally, I felt, uh, I felt really bad for him because obviously he has some like debilitating social anxieties, yeah. clearly. Yeah. But like that could not have gone worse for him. Yeah. Literally everything, he did he got, everything the worst. He got bullied, man. He did. Like right before going in, him just crying and then the guy being like, don't cry, man. Man up or whatever. And you're like, oh, fuck. And that, 
for it to be like the biggest bully dickhead yeah. in the show that's <laughs> also there with him being like fucking stop crying bitch and you're like oh my god the dude they laid it up for him to turn it on them because the other guy with the dreads goes man up man up and he puts his hand on the star yeah and he goes oh man up all right and he goes hey big dog go to the umbrella yeah he's like no oh, man up yeah and then he should have just stood on that yeah he should have stood on business yeah yeah, instead he's like, mm. you're going to spit on my cookie, me, right? right? You're going to help me. You're going to spit Come on my on, cookie. Come on, man. Come on, man. And then I laughed so hard when they were like, circle, uh, you'll be playing first. I'm like, they don't even play together, stupid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he was like, uh, turns out you can't help each other. It's against the rules. It's like, even if he wanted to, even if it was part of the rules, he couldn't do it. Yeah. That's actually, yeah, it's so funny. Like, did he not watch the show? Yeah. No one finished in the show, and then they're like, come spin And they're like, you're going to make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, ew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ew is right. You know what I thought they were going to do is yeah, I thought- Come puke in my cookie. You're going to puke in my cookie, right? <laughs> puke in my cookie, You're going to help me? You're going to puke in my cookie? <laughs> I did to say when four three two like turned his head because the dude was like crying and vomiting, and he was like trying not to laugh. I laughed so hard. I felt that shit in my core. Just that fucking. <laughs> just. That guy's an asshole, man. <laughs> he's young, man. That's Boy, why he's a dick. Asshole. Yeah, he's a dickhead, man. Yeah, he sucks. I mean, he's just he's just <laughs> that funny. Dude's funny too. The private equity guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lorenzo. <laughs> yeah. Lorenzo. Yeah. It's so funny. He gets multiple foods, and then the people watching him like. The people watching him just watch him go to another group. And yeah. say, you going to finish that? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll have some. <laughs> it's so funny. They're just like 100 feet away. Hey, what the <laughs> yeah, hell? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, 432 is a funny guy, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's a phenomenal show, unfortunately. Yeah. And it's really, really good. Here's really... the thing, dude. You need guys like 432 in there to make it interesting. If they didn't have that I agree, guy, and I'm looking forward to seeing him get eliminated. They're, they, you need pivotal villains, bro. You do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wonder what the casting process for that show was like. So I started wondering, do they cast based on, like, I, I wonder if Netflix has data on who, what their target demos are, and do they reflect those people into their, like, reality shows? Probably. Yeah. But I think more likely it's like, we, we know that these archetypes work for it's this definitely sort of thing, more so let's that. find the most exaggerated versions of all these. If anything, man, they probably just have so much footage that they they probably focused in on a lot of people. Yeah. And it was probably, they had to narrow it down to just, you know, these happenstance. Yeah. I also like how they did the, what I thought was really smart about the Talking Head interviews is, <clears throat> see, I like the challenge. But I think where they fuck up is, so some, they'll they'll do the talking head interviews, and every time the talking head interview is done, typically the person speaking is wearing a different set of clothes. And I don't know if that's because they shoot them at different times and they're calling them back to get more dialogue, yeah. or if they're trying to throw you off on purpose. But I feel like when you watch their body language while they're saying what they're saying, they telegraph what the result of the scene is. Yeah, kind of I agree. So what I like is they don't show their faces during some of the talking head stuff. Oh, okay. They just layer oh, it beneath like B-roll think... yeah. of the person. So then you're truly like, damn, what's going to happen? What happens next? Yeah. That plus like mixed with the fact that you learn very quickly that you hear some of these stories and they don't mean shit. They don't foreshadow anything. That's, that's like that, really that woman good. in the first one, the very first woman that you ever hear from in the show, the, fir the first talking <laughs> yeah, head they do, like... she's like, what's it like to, ha to pay off your car? What's it like to make rent? Like, I don't know what those things feel like. The, I really, I would love to know what that feels like. And you're like, oh, she's clearly, go all the way. clearly, like, this is a backstory of a person that we should care about. Yeah. It's tugging on my heartstrings. I want to see her go the distance. Good and, uh, you know, oftentimes <laughs> in these reality shows, that's why they show you that. And so you feel really good in the end when it happens. Very first person eliminated <laughs> yeah. it is her. Night, night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. That was a really good way of getting you hooked. You're yeah. like, oh, okay, this show is ruthless. Yeah. Just you wait. Okay. I can't be like, are people actually going to start dying? <laughs> yeah. It's like oh, really yeah. the only difference between this yeah. and the actual show. Yeah. Oh, they. You're going to see a lot of people die inside. Yeah. 
I, I can't wait for the 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 uh, Sir Stroming challenge part. Yeah. <laughs> <of this. laughs> oh, bro! If that was the final, like eat this can. <laughs> I think I think they're putting people away. They could actually <laughs> sure. shortcut this show, and they could get 487 people and 487, 487 cans of Sir Stroming. And be like, whoever makes this, make, eats this, gets to the final Eats round. the can and drinks the juice. Yeah. Eats all the meat and drinks the juice. And every single person would be out except for like that one like military guy that we watched. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> uh, Squid Game, the challenge. The challenge US application. How far will you go? Is this for the next one? <laughs> yeah. No way. Um... <laughs> Cody Noel do. Cody Noel do. Yeah. Squid Games the challenge. <laughs> nah, man. We're I think uh I think to win this you have to be so innocuous and like socially awkward. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't be off putting. No. You just have to stay silent. Just completely blend in. But you That's can't it. you can't blend in with a group either. Yeah. It's like fuck it's like prison. Like yeah. You have to just kind of like be head down. Yeah. And I've heard this from other people that have gone to like jail. They say that you don't get fucked with if you just appear to be doing your own thing. Yeah. Like like, all right, this dude is he's probably he's in here so, for some shit. That's what I'm saying. You can't really be with a group. No. Yeah, you yeah, you just gotta be like in there. Yeah. Just doing whatever. Which would get boring. It would. That that I think would be the true test. If you're just like psychologically all the time figuring out like fuck. Yeah. How do I get away from people? Yeah. Yeah. And then it's it's crazy because you don't even want to be too physically dominant either. Yeah. Because <laughs> then everyone's like, get that guy out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the shit from Survivor. It's yeah. a, you just have to be dead in the middle. Mm. You have to blend in and be average by every. By every means. It's got to be like a sloth just in your bed all day. Yeah. Uh, I think that guy's like anemic. (laughs) We don't don't got to worry about him. Hey, we're going to take a quick break to say go uh, watch us watch Cody eat the Surstrom in um, the Bone Zone. (laughs) I can't even speak normally. (laughs) It sounds like COD zombies for the last like five minutes (laughs) of the bonus. (laughs) And it smells... It smells worse in here than it. I mean, I I haven't smelled smelled this bad. Look at Ryan; he's struggling. It's. So I've only I've I've only smelled this type of fart from a person one time, <laughs> and it's like that. And was it me? No, it wasn't you. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a buddy that would rip farts like this. I like I, I'd almost vomit, and he thought it was so funny. And it would it's like the smell is like that, but locked in a car with the heater on. <laughs> so if you want to see that. Go to tmgstudios.tv, oh my sign up for a God. subscription. You can see that plus 200 other bonus episodes, yeah. um, plus extended versions of all of our Cody and Noel do videos that we do and ad-free ad everything. Free. Much, much more than that. So <clears throat> promo code is on the fridge for what? 20% off until we decide to turn it off. So go do it now because it might be... Actually, let's turn it off. <laughs> no, we're going to leave it open for a little bit. Go sign up. I have nothing to say. Just go sign up. Um, the one other thing I will say about this show is I like how, you know, obviously everyone's thinking about the Mr. Beast version. And it's just like, I think when he did it, you know, it was, we even probably said this, like it was like, you know, it just seemed like the most impressive thing ever. And mm-hmm. how could you get better than this? He remade Squid Games. Yeah. Like, you know, he spent so much money. Yeah, and then you realize this comes out, and you're like, "Oh, there's levels yeah. to this shit," and there yeah. always will be. You yes, know? like yes. YouTube will always, always kind of be. Yeah, you can as much as you want be like YouTube is the new, you know, it's it's not the new landscape. <laughs> it's like it's not, it's, dude. It's not like you don't need these big production companies. Yes, you, you do. The, it's like this is <laughs> a whole. It's like they remade the fucking show, like scene by scene yeah but made it real yeah which is awful because this like conversation right here just sounds like bowing to your corporate or overlord being which like i'm not trying to do i think that both have a place totally totally like mr beast 
video ended up being a different thing, right? He's like walking around interviewing people on the floor, yeah. right? It's like much less polished reality show by design. Mm-hmm. But still, when this came out, I think a lot of people were like, this is the most impressive thing you could do yeah. in this vein. Yeah. And it's like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. Yeah. If you get the most evil people on earth, they yeah. can make something even more evil. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, oh, you wanted to see people suffer? Yeah. That's what Netflix said. They're like, "Oh, no problem." Mm-hmm. Oh, and we got that. Send us a 1-minute video and then cuz that's what the application says, send a 1-minute video telling us about yourself. <laughs> they got that lady in the beginning is like I really just want to make rent, and the casting director is like, "Oh, Perfect. yeah, pause it. We don't have to see any more. Pause it. That's all we need to know, right there." Wait, just play it. What else does she say? Just want to know what it's like to pay off my car. Pause it. Oh yeah, God, say less. Not be more perfect. Say less. Say less. On the board, number one. Yeah, I want to meet her when she walks to the door. Yeah, because she's going out first. <laughs> I want to shake her hand. I want to shake her hand. We're gonna put Vaseline on her shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Slipping around. <laughs> I'll be good to the motion. <laughs> if I meant is in general, like when you're walking through the bunk area, no. just slipping around. No, I meant like wrong with these shoes. Just sabotaging her <laughs> yeah. for that first challenge, just to make these sure soap shoes. They get the most awful story, <laughs> so visibly funny. possible. Someone sprinting and it's yeah. like red light. <laughs> 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 she's like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Yeah, man. Please upload a one-minute video telling us about yourself, why you want to be on Squid Game, the challenge, what your game plan would be, and what you would do with a huge $4.5 million cash prize if you won. As if any story that they get isn't going to be, like, so brutal. Yeah. Yeah, hi, I've got a, I've got a mother in hospice, and i just like to spend one more year with her. Yeah. How dark is it? The cast director's like, yeah, we're going to take that. Yeah. That's what we like to hear. Oh, right uh, yeah, suffering. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. And here we are yucking it up, being like, this is the greatest show ever. Because <laughs> it's it's fucked up. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. This but is the I, closest Ameri- we're going to get to Hunger Games. No, but I think I think it's not our fault. I think it's the fault. <laughs> Besides people being hungry. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not our fault. I think it's the fault of the reality TV like um, paradigm in the the United States where like for the last 20 years yeah. it's been this like yeah. find the person with the fucked up story yeah. tug at the heartstrings yeah. and then give them the big payoff when they finally win in the end yeah. you know tug on their heartstring yeah. tug on their heartstring <laughs> this is my heartstring yeah. tug on your heartstring tug on my hard string yeah tug on my heartstring <laughs> Oh man, that tugs on my hard string. Just, just like when, you say, hard string. <laughs> yeah, how, what do you mean? Yeah, that's how dudes watch reality TV. We just tug on our penis and cry. Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe they lost the Bachelor. <sighs> Brady you know, watching won. American reality TV is for tugging on your heart strings, yeah. and then watching porn is for tugging on your hard string. Yeah, yeah, nice. But yeah, no, it it is it is true. Like we're just conditioned to like this shit. Or like expect it. Mm. So when they flip it on its head, it feels like, oh, this is new and refreshing. Yeah. Even though it's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Oh, it's but terrible. It do, you do are like, mm. whoa, I can't believe that happened. And the and the problem with this is it can like, like you can't do Black Mirror ever again. Yeah. Because a scripted version of this is just going to be like. No, they're doing it though. What? Squid Games season two. No, but that's what I'm saying is like if they're like, if they try to go Black Mirror season eight, everyone's like, Ugh. Oh, because it's like happening. Yeah. What do you mean? Because because Squid Game the Challenge is like a Black Mirror. Yeah. Premise. If people were actually dying, it's not that crazy, you know. I guess it's crazy in the sense of, uh, this is the most unabashed like we're gonna crush these people's souls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like these people need this money, and we're gonna we're gonna destroy them psychologically but all the fucked up reality tv that used to be a thing fucking black swan moment yeah, of truth all yeah. that shit that was way worse that's true that is this that is, is way this worse. is pretty it's, pg compared to no you're right you're right to. you're right before before reality tv got like all heartwarming yeah. it used to be fucked up i guess what makes this fucked up to me is like unlike was it black swan where they're shaming an individual person i guess oh boy here goes my uh political science fucking eyeglasses hit me with it 
I do just say, in the current economic environment, is this not just such a commentary on our society in America, where it's just, it's just almost the story of capitalism. It's this big race where everyone is conned into believing that they have a chance, but only one will win and the rest will lose. No, I just think it's sad where it's like, it is seemingly a bunch of people that are, are like, damn, this would change my life. I need it. It would be awesome if I had this. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, you're not going to win. Yeah. Four and a half million bucks. That's like, that's a big ass prize. That's, a that's huge the biggest prize, prize and in then, any reality show that I've hope, ever heard hope, of, right? Hopefully they don't win it in California either. Sorry. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, congratulations. We'll go ahead and take half. Yeah, we'll half of that lopped off. Wow. Thank you for doing that for us. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to go to Gavin Spank Fund. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin? <laughs> Gavin knew something. <laughs> Yeah, damn! I forgot about that. Yeah, it's gonna go for. It's gonna go to his uh, child basketball games. <laughs> to play. For uh, what is this? Biggest cash prize in reality show history. Woo! <laughs> yeah, is Netflix doing this because they need write-offs? Yeah, <laughs> the stock price is no, uh, they- getting hit pretty hard. We need a big write-off here. No, dude, they probably just. They had a bunch of money to blow during the strike. They're like, we can't buy anything. Nothing's going on. Uh, so it's like, what do we do with all this money? I don't know. Like, what if we did Squid Games in real life? Like Mr. Beast? Yeah. Yeah, Come but on. like, <laughs> we get the best cinematographers. We we get, listen, I know some guys that did National Geographic. We'll get these fucking buffalo running shots. We'll get them like the animals they are. <laughs> running for this money jesus <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah they definitely did they definitely did get some like some good you know close-ups as the money was falling into the bin of people being like yeah so grim like just grim just gross shots of people being like oh, yeah oh my God. Uh, just you wait brother yeah just you wait uh. And every time someone dies, they have a clip of someone saying, that's 10000 more dollars. Yeah. <laughs> the editing is so good on that. Yeah, I know. Just you wait, brother. Um, So you haven't seen the carrot scene. I love the the uh, the mullet guy. Oh, which one? The, the first. The one from Kansas City? Yeah. And the first in his like talking head in- interview, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, Hunter's hot cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter. <laughs> Not Hunter Biden. I was like, Hunter Biden? What? I guess they kind of look like. Um, no, when he was like, everyone sees the mullet and thinks I'm more or less intelligent than them. Yeah. Like, well, you're not really helping your case. <laughs> more or less intelligent than them. Or no, you're talking about the guy with the glasses. Yeah, with the glasses, yeah. Oh, the, the, that dude's from Kentucky? Oh, you're talking about the... Yeah, yeah, That other guy does look like Hunter. Yeah. 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 It's just the mullet. Yeah. No, but... Yeah, face structure-wise kind of, too. I'd have to see another picture of Young Hunt comparably. Not this guy, the other mullet guy. Kyle. But that was the dude I was talking about in the beginning. Everyone thinks I'm more less intelligent than them. Yeah, scroll up. Him, yeah. Stefan. Yeah. Yeah, that's if Hunter like played lacrosse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and thought drawing pictures was weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His shit was funny too in the very beginning where he's like, it's me and my brother, man. I think it's going to be us to the end. No, it is not. First person out. First this person out. It's just him looking at him like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, man. That's my boy right there. What the <laughs> fuck? That's my best friend growing up. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so watch the show. It's fucking good. And uh, we will be auditioning for season two for sure. <clears throat> for sure. We'd be fucked in there, man. Yeah. Um, Do you want to record one minute videos each, real quick? Um, yeah, if we actually send them in, why don't we just do, do it in the what? wide and we just do a one minute with the two of us? Yeah, the two of us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? Here's our here's our audition. Wait, put put some dramatic lighting on. All right. Ooh, okay. No. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. We big, run, big, we, fan, big fans of the show. Huge the fans huge of the show. Fans. We run a kill shelter 
and we're tired of doing it. It's a human kill shelter. Yeah. For old people. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just, we're sick of doing it. It's hard. Yeah. What's your name, by the way? My name's Noel. And mine's Cody from the Tiny Meat Gang podcast. It's awful having to shoot these old people right between their eyes. We use the same gun that they use for cows for beef. You know, it's got like that hemi combustion, that cylinder. That's what we have to do between the eyes. We don't have much time left. Look, if you would consider us to be on Squid Games, the challenge season two, um, you would you would greatly change our lives. What our strategy would be, uh, would be to jerk off in the bunks separately every night. We try In to, other people's? No. We yeah, try to, no, we, our we, own. we each get our We're own top sickos. bunks. Yeah. And we try to jerk it every night. Yeah. And um, we made the song Walkman. <laughs> oh, that's the end. Uh, oh, <laughs> just giving some more yeah. context. So just in case they want to check it out. <laughs> Popular songs, like 90, 92 million streams or something like that. So check it out. Dude, dude could you imagine? <laughs> what? All like 400 people in there in the middle of the night, just one of the, the top of the bunk. It's just. You know, it, it's just like it's just vibrating. Yeah, yeah. And the, the bunks four, three, and two are like, what the <laughs> hell? What? Hey, who's shaking the bunk? Stop shaking the bunk. Stops for a second. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, are you jacking off up there? No. <laughs> yeah, no, dude. Eight. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> you jack up. Ping. Me, 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 me. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That'd be crazy, man. <laughs> or just on a, just without a care in the world. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this nut off before I go to bed. Sorry. <laughs> only way, only I, can way I can sleep. Out. Yeah, I gotta get <laughs> a nut off. Look at the guy next to you. Hey, man, you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Sorry, I gotta take a cum. <laughs> <laughs> just ass naked in the public men's <laughs> fucking toilet. Just jacking off with it. Sorry, man. I really got to take a cum. Hey, when you got to go, you got to go. Uh, sorry, brother. You know <laughs> sorry, how it is. man. Duty calls. Got to take a cum real fast. You know how it goes, buddy. He's got to empty your little <laughs> willy, yeah? <laughs> He's got to empty your little willy sometimes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> On your knees. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Knees up on the toilet seat, <laughs> <laughs> pointing it down. <laughs> just Come on! You just slip on. The Come floor. on! You slip on the pleasure. Fuck! Oh, <laughs> yeah! I can't wait to eat my hour-old burrito after this. <laughs> that smells like sir stroming. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so that's how- the one thing this show is missing. Some some people hooking up. What do you mean? <laughs> That'd be crazy in the middle of all this trauma, just like just a hetero couple just oh, oh, banging you're out. About, you're talking about Squid Game. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. you were talking about this podcast. I was no, like, what, what the do you mean? Hell? What? No, dude. What should we just have people make Listen, out I back here? I might have yeah, I no, might have made you that. more people hooking up on this show. Listen, I might have gave you that gay surfboard, but don't get it, don't get your hopes up, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some people just fucking their- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We're like, uh, welcome. So how was Japan? <laughs> That's dude? just plug talk, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. Uh, how was Japan? Good question. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. No, it was good. You know, Tokyo. Fun you know, city. You know, Tokyo. Yeah, to you. <laughs> yeah, to you. Okay. Fun city. Tokyo. All right, Tokyo. Yeah. Nose is growing a mile. Man. How was it? Shout out, Beck. Thanks for making our personality. Yeah. We've actually never needed to be funny. We just copied Beck. Yeah. 
and you get all these people who are 24 like that is a good bit and we're like yeah. we know it's a good know bit. it's a good bit yeah <laughs> that's why we do it that's why beck got on snl yeah because that was a good bit still smell it man fucking hell still smell it just wait till i eat it yeah and yeah. then my burps will also smell like Ooh. It. You think I actually can get botulism from that? The air that squirted out of that fucking can. Dog. Like, you're, why does it smell like that? You're it's about, not rotten. That's you're, what rotten shit is. You're about to have a kid and you want to risk death? Sick. For the, yeah, but it's for like the. Respect. Yeah. It's, it's for, for the meme. Studio. Yeah, it's for the meme. Yeah, I like it. It's for our paying subscribers. Dude. Yeah. But yeah, Tokyo is cool. It's a, you know, beautiful city. We had our friends kind of plan an itinerary for a couple of days. Went and drove some go karts in Fuji. <laughs> Fastest lap of the day. Nice. Out of everyone. Out of everyone. Nice. Yeah, you know I mean, in the rain. Hell yeah. So you know your boy was the fucking wheel man out there. Yeah, just drifting. You know the boy <laughs> was the wheel man out there. No, it was actually um, I fucking sent it for sure. Nice. No, I, I went. At the end of the day, I went like reverse into a barrier, and I was I fully, I hit it hard enough that my lower ribs got touched. It's like, oh, Ooh. I was like, <laughs> I'm like we're we're good for yeah. the rest of the day. Fully thought I was uh, gonna crack one on that one. Yeah, but yeah, it was it was awesome. It was Tokyo, awesome. Tokyo is funny because oh, have you you've been to Tokyo? Yeah, once. The sort of like the unspoken rules you got to know about things, mm -hmm. like in restaurants and is like what, uh, like the like some of the ramen spots that kind of threw me off, like the double line thing where you like line up to give your order and then pay and then you get in the other line to be seated. Oh, okay, some places are like that. Okay, and just it just never it feels like no one explains shit to you. Right, everyone knows. Right. It was kind of this big inside joke that you're out of, and you're like, uh, do I? Everyone's like, you should know, dude. Yeah, yeah, They're like, no, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. If you want to get laughed at. Yeah. Yeah, no, do your thing, pal. Yeah, there, there should be someone at the airport mm -hmm. that tells you this stuff, yeah. you know? Hey, before you leave, I got to let you know. Yeah. Of a couple customs. And then you feel, you feel how American you are, like when you speak at your normal volume, because everyone is very, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's that and then <laughs> I started reading into other dark aspects like the frequency of <laughs> salary men just jumping onto the train tracks yeah um, and <laughs> it was it was crazy our, our friend was going to uh, back to the airport <laughs> she's like oh my train is delayed for injury <laughs> oh and that's someone that jumped off yeah in front of it yeah uh, yeah that's dark yeah yeah I like how the, they just say that over the intercom and everyone has to pretend. Yeah. Oh, it, or just everyone's like, oh, I guess. Did you eat any good food? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just How kept, did we get to suicide so quickly there? <laughs> I just, you know. You know. Then I, the ramen good? The ramen was great. Um, I was just going to joke that I kept fucking with the train conductors. What you know the guys that like hang out the back of the train? Yeah, yeah. I kept joking like I might. I'm, oh, ah. Jesus. Okay, sorry. That's that's not funny. Um, <clears throat> yeah, had some amazing food. Went to this pork katsu place. We served it like high end sushi, nice. different cuts of pork. Oh fuck yeah! You got to eat it different that's ways. What I'm talking about yeah, yeah. He get he cut lays down the first piece and it's got some juice on the top. And he's like, suck it off first. He told you to suck his yeah, pork? Yeah, suck the pork. Suck the juice off the pork? Yeah, we ate John Pork. <laughs> we killed him. We cut him up and ate him. You know John Pork? No. Who's that? Dude, pull up John Pork. Who's John Pork? That name rules. Come on. Yeah, yeah. John Pork. Actually, he just hit, he just hit my line. He said, don't talk about me like that. That's John Pork. <laughs> John Pork. <laughs> you don't know about John Pork? No. Is he a meme? What's yeah? John Pork is calling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love this. Yeah, this just, is great. So many do the AIs of John Pork, him just being like, yeah, the bucket head in NY, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the original one? It's the, the John it's, Pork is calling. Yeah, 
Someone just made that? Like, I, f- I forget the <laughs> origin. Someone put a filter on or something? <laughs> no, nah, I f- yeah, I forget the origin, but I would just see John Pork, and then John Pork is calling, like, a TikTok would get interrupted, and it'd be like, boop, 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 and it's like, <laughs> John Pork. <laughs> You're like, that's oh, fucking bet. good. Oh, bet. That's funny. Yeah. But yeah, he lays down this piece and there's some juice on the top and he goes, suck it first and then a little salt and then dip it, you know. And so every bite was, you had instructions. Gotcha. Um, and because I got this fish allergy, which is so lame, I've never needed to have wasabi really. Mm-hmm. I think I've had like wasabi like flavored snacks and okay. stuff, but nothing I can remember. Yeah. Well, this is the first time I actually ate wasabi. Nice. Because he served, he served us one and he just dollops it on top and with I go- With the pork? With the pork. Nice. Which I, I thought was unconventional. I didn't know if that was like a normal thing. I mean, you can eat wasabi on anything. Yeah, but I'm like, here we go. <clears throat> and uh, it was fresh. Yeah. Freshly ground. Yeah, that shit is fucking awesome. Did it hit you in your brain? Oh, yeah. 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 Isn't that crazy? Because he, he goes- Normal spicy shit is like you feel it in your throat and yeah. your neck or you're like, you know, your tongue or whatever. Wasabi just goes right here. Yeah. It's like- <clears throat> Yeah. When you were in Tokyo, um, did you did you feel that pressure? I know you normally do this on your own, but uh, to f- finish the plate- uh, I, I couldn't remember like any particular mm. pressure, but also like, yeah, I would have just done it. Yeah. Anyways. I felt the pressure in these environments to like, you gotta, you gotta eat everything. There, I mean, there was definitely, now that you mentioned it, there was a moment where we were at the fish market, you know, doing the whole, like get in line at four, 4 a.m. Yeah. And it opens at like 5 a.m. And you're eating, you know, like chef, it's like chef's table. They just like put it in front of mm. you and you eat it. At like five AM, but the like the guy who's preparing the sushi's right in front of you at the bar. Yeah. And they would put like sea urchin and shit like that. Stuff that has like a really fucking weird texture. Yeah. Five AM. Yeah. Like, oh, God damn it. Mm-hmm. You know, eating these giant fish eggs or whatever. And you're like definitely was that. You're like and they're like looking at you like You're gonna do it, right? And you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, you're like, Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, and you're slamming beer at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that that wasabi hit me right in the brain. It was delicious. He made a a pork based uh corned beef. I don't know how the hell he pulled that off. Mm. Tasted kind of crazy. The pork was crazy, man. So yeah, that that went off the ramen was nuts. Bust. Was it busting? It was busting. Had some crazy good beef. Nice. Um yeah. Tried their McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Twas good. Yeah. Yeah. Different than America? Uh I think I had it there too, but I forget I forget how it was. Different because I feel McDonald's is really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean I love the McDonald's app especially. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think McDonald's everywhere besides America is really good. Yeah. Here it's just It's also good. It's good here, but it's not I don't know. I feel in other countries... It's more consistent, I would say. Maybe a little bit more consistent. And, and like higher quality. Yeah. Wait, speaking of food, dude, I think we should hit this TikTok before we finish because so many people sent me this. All right. Have you? Did you see the Is poop, it the, the one of the... Deli? Ho- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can run the... <laughs> I thought it was going to be the one that we got tagged in of, of the horse jumping off that bridge. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, bro. Wait, is it like the deer one? Oh, dude. <laughs> It's, it's better, better than the deer one. You never seen a mass hit water like that. Oh, I, let's. You haven't seen a mass hit water like that since like a pool party in <laughs> tenth grade. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, yeah. This is this is so dumb, but so funny. it's so dumb. But like, so many people were tagging us because yeah. they're like, "This is every every like bit you have combined into yeah, one." Yeah. This. Yeah. So we can't call it dumb because this is just us. I, I mean, it's genius. Yeah. Is what it is. <laughs> it's really smart. It's really humor. smart humor. How you doing, boss man? Let me get an everything bagel. Uh, do I have kind of poop? <laughs> hey, uh, the usual for me, quarter, quarter scoop poop on the poop poop bagel. I'm going to do a bagel everything, scoop it out, <laughs> do a little lots, and, you know, throw a little poop on there. Salt up and ketchup poop, toast it on an over easy hash brown. 
let me do a half a pound of bacon, egg, and cheese with a little bit of mayonnaise on the side, and then, I don't know, put a little poop on the top. <laughs> put a little poop on the top. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, the, that's... That's everything we do right there. Yeah, let me get That's the 16-inch BLT with the... Uh, put it in the microwave. Throw it in the microwave. And yeah, maybe let heat it get, up a little bit. You and, know what? Uh, Fuck it. Let me the, get the Philly cheese. I'll do the Philly cheese. Yeah, Philly I'll, poop steak. Yeah. <laughs> get the Philly poop steak. Let me get the 18-inch. And uh, yeah, instead of mayonnaise, why don't you go just lather that up with poop? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me get the 18-inch Philly sub mayonnaise for poop. <laughs> Can I get the poop aioli on it too, please? <laughs> oh man, that's a thought. Mayo and poop, S- yeah. stir it up. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Let me get the chunky poop aioli. <laughs> yeah, the spicy poopy aioli, please. Yeah. Let me get a. You know what? Fuck it, man. Let me get a clam chowder today, but uh, replace the clam with shit. <laughs> Yeah, take a big old shit in the middle. <laughs> it should look like hummus. Let me get the in Italian the- poop dip. <laughs> Please. Oh, that's good. You dip it in poop juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me get the... What's it called? A jus? A ju- is that what it is? I don't, I don't know. Is it? Yeah. The poop jus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a poop roux. Damn, that's funny. All right, run this one now. The same guy, right? The evolution of ordering at the poop Can deli. I do a plain bagel, cream cheese, and <laughs> put a little poop on it. Gonna, I'm gonna do an everything bagel, vegetable cream cheese, and then do a plop of poop right on top. How you doing, man? I'm gonna do an everything bagel, lox, cream cheese, and then I'm gonna do a double poop scoop on top. <laughs> do the two scoops of poop. How you doing, Mikey? I'm gonna do a bacon, egg, and cheese, and do a smear of poop. <laughs> Not too much, though. Joey, what's the Hershey squirt? Eight pounds of poop? <laughs> yeah, I'll try it. What's up, boss man? I'm gonna do Italian bread, chicken cutlet, lettuce, tomato, poop, olive oil, <laughs> and then do a, do a half pound of poop on the side so I can dip, you know, dip the sandwich in the poop. <laughs> Get the sandwich in the poop. <laughs> What's this dude's name? Yeah, shout out this guy. What's his name? It's, it's Frankie, Frankie 13. 13. <laughs> shout out, it's Frankie. This is different from it's Frankie 12. Yeah, 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 it's not Frankie 12. Yeah, it's Frankie it's 13. Frankie 13. Frankie, if that is your fucking athlete number, please take that shit out of your fucking name, man. <laughs> yeah. Every just brute force. Like, oh. Oh, he's number 13 on the wrestling team. Yeah, got it. yeah, exactly. You're going to get it. So hacked. that's that's in your password. <clears throat> All right. In the bonus today, I'm going to eat some Sir Stroming, or I'm going to at least smell it some more. Or yeah. we're going to open this can. Or we're going to leave it there, actually, and not open it. No, that's the second can of Sir Stroming. Oh, there's another can. You think we just get one can? There's a brand new can in Yo, here. Yo, I'll give you $1,000 right now. You cut a hole in that, put a straw in, and just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. That's a little bit... Like wet. Maybe that's what was smelling. Oh. That's like greasy. What the fuck is on there? It leaked? Definitely smells like fish. Ooh. Now that's botulism right there. Ooh. Now that is some botulism. Now that's what I call botulism. <laughs> yeah, let me get a little botulism on the top. Yeah. Bacon, egg, and cheese with some botulism. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go wash my hands. I want to see the L.A. version of the poop deli. What? Hey. Fail. Hey, how we doing? Uh, yeah, I'm going to get the uh, kale salad with uh, light on the nuts. And uh, just a sprinkle of poop in there. I didn't realize that the scooped bagel was a thing. Yeah. Until that whole Twitter. Because fe- it was that guy who was like, I went to this deli and I asked for a scoop bagel. I didn't like, know what I was talking about. Scooped bagel. Yeah. Someone was like, I couldn't believe what a scooped bagel was until like I looked it up or couldn't believe it when I looked it up. And yeah, I was like, I don't know what it is. Bagel shell. Yeah. Why the fuck would you get that? I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm going to wash my hands. Bye. This week on the Bone Zone. Yeah, I saw this dude's cock. What? I gotta go back to Disneyland. I might drop acid and go to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't let my husband know I'm touching myself to you. Let out a trombone. Just a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that's marriage. Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at TMGStudios.tv. <laughs>